Hello friends, Tiger Coward here. Today we traded two wheels for two paddles on day eight of Tiger Barb's August Odyssey. Today's weather forecast was calling for sunshine this morning and rain this afternoon and all evening. So we started with an early breakfast and a ride on the Tiger to Mount Orford Provincial Park. We arrived as the canoe rental office opened at 9 o'clock and we were on the water by 9.30. Our original plan was to canoe and swim in Lake Stuckley and then hike to the top of Mount Orford. Unfortunately, due to the heavy rains recently, both the beach and the trails were closed. So it was just canoeing today. We carried our boat from the storage rack to the dock and we were paddling in no time. But something was wrong. The canoe was very difficult to control and maneuver. I immediately put this down to my poor seamanship. I'm not exactly an expert paddler and I haven't paddled for a while. After a few impromptu circles, we got cruising straight along the lake. Oh, there's the Orford monster. All three humps. <laughs> then after 90 minutes of paddling I asked Tiger Barb if she was comfortable. She responded that the seat was good but she had no leg room. I glanced behind me and realized that we're facing the wrong way. She was in the stern facing out of the water and I was sitting one third of the way up the boat with my back to the bow. No wonder the canoe was so tempestuous. We soon found a spot to disembark and turn around and we had a good laugh at ourselves. The paddle back was way easier. LOL, what a pair of ding-dongs. For what it's worth, the canoeing was quite nice. On shore we had a nice cheese and cracker lunch and then rode 20 minutes up the road to Lake Fraser for a quick swim. This life of sin catching up real quick and I'm lucky to be alive. After cooling off in Lake Fraser, we checked the weather radar and it showed rain coming our way by four. It was past three so we headed back to the chalet. Unfortunately, the forecast was correct again and we got hit by the tail end of the storm that flooded Ottawa. Oh well, it turns out it was going to be another evening in the chalet watching TV. What a first world problem. I love you all. Good night from a waterlogged Mount Orford. Go forth with an open mind and most importantly an open heart. And remember, self-care is not selfish. Kiss the love I left and I know that I can't